The Singapore government is on a mission to win the war on diabetes. And to do that, they're exposing which drinks in the market are bad. And by bad, I mean those high in sugar and saturated fat content. By the end of this year, pre-packed beverages that are guilty as charged will be labelled with this Nutri-Grade mark. And by the end of 2023, Drink outlets in Singapore will have to label which freshly prepared beverage on their menu is high in sugar and saturated fat content. This could include coffee, fruit juice, and the ever so popular bubble tea. But it's more than just whether this drink is good or bad. There are some commonly held myths about sugar that might be causing us to have this all or nothing approach. Is brown sugar or honey better than white sugar? Are artificial sweeteners better than white sugar? Brown sugar is essentially white sugar with molasses added to it. It will still turn into glucose and affect your blood sugar level. Natural sugars, such as honey, will also affect your blood sugar level the same way. In terms of calories, artificial sweeteners do have less calories than white sugar, but it will still affect your blood sugar level at the end of the day. Does consuming sugar feed cancer cells? The short answer is no, according to Ms. Tan Yin Sin, who is a senior dietitian at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital. There is no conclusive human studies to directly suggest that sugar feeds or grows cancer cells. Also, sugar itself is not carcinogenic. All cells in our body, cancer or not, and many of our organs, use glucose as fuel. So cutting out sugar or all forms of carbohydrates in an attempt to starve your cancer cells will also deprive your healthy cells of nutrients. However, the overconsumption of sugar could lead to obesity, which in turn ups your risk factor of getting certain types of cancer, such as breast cancer in postmenopausal women or colorectal cancer. Are fruit juices healthy? It depends on how you consume it and how much you take. Fruit has naturally occurring sugars such as fructose. Drinking too much of fruit juice will lead to a spike in your blood sugar levels and maybe weight gain. To slow down your body's absorption of sugars, you could try blending the fruit juice instead of just juicing it. Regarding the amount of fruit juice you should take in a day, the recommended daily intake of fruit is about two servings a day. In a glass of orange juice, for example, it already has about three servings. So that's a little bit more than your recommended daily intake. Is that sugar rush and the resulting energy crash really caused by having something sweet? Actually, that sugar rush you feel is more of that feel-good feeling from the release of dopamines rather than the spike in your blood sugar levels that happens after you eat carbohydrates. However, we might be on to something about that energy crash. Recent reviews have shown that healthy individuals who consume a lot of carbohydrates experience a dip in mood, fatigue within 30 minutes and reduced alertness within the hour. What is high fructose corn syrup and why does it have such a bad rep? High fructose corn syrup is made from corn starch and contains water, glucose and fructose. Critics believe that high fructose corn syrup is linked to obesity. However, there has been no conclusive human studies to show that the syrup is worse or more harmful than other types of sugar. Consuming all types of sugar will eventually lead to weight gain if you take too much of it. Hopefully this video answers your questions. If you have more questions, do drop me an email at askst at sph.com.sg. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to the Straits Times YouTube channel for more content.